In this section, we're going to analyze graphs. In analyzing graphs, we will find where a function increases and decreases, find where a function is concave up and concave down, and locate on the graph special points called critical points and inflection points. The definition of increasing decreasing. A function increases where the first derivative is positive and it decreases where the first derivative is negative. Let's take a look at the graph and it shows in red the two intervals where the first derivative would be positive so this function is increasing. It's now showing in blue the area where the first derivative would be negative so the original function is decreasing. Let's look at an example of increasing and decreasing. Consider the function f of x equals x squared plus 4x as shown there on the right. The derivative of this function would be 2x plus 4. The function is going to decrease wherever the derivative is less than 0. If we solve this using algebra, we're going to end up with x is less than negative 2. You can see on the graph that it's going to decrease any time x is less than negative 2. The function is going to increase whenever 2x plus 4 is greater than 0. Solving this inequality gives us x is greater than negative 2, and again looking at the graph we can see that it increases anywhere that x is greater than negative 2. Let's talk about concavity. A function is concave up where the second derivative is positive, and it's concave down where the second derivative is negative. Let's consider this graph. The second derivative would be negative in the area in blue, which shows the curvature of the graph to be concave down. The second derivative would be positive in the area in red, and that shows the curvature of the graph to be concave up. Let's look at an example of concavity. Consider the function f of x equals negative x cubed plus 3x squared. The first derivative would be negative 3x squared plus 6x, while the second derivative would be negative 6x plus 6. If we're interested in finding where the function is concave down, we'll take the second derivative and we'll make it less than 0. If we do the algebra to solve this, we're going to end up with x is greater than 1. Remember in algebra, if you're solving an inequality and you have to divide by a negative to do it, you have to flip the inequality sign. If we go to the graph, we can see whenever x is greater than 1, the general curvature of this graph is to go concave down. The function is considered to be concave up wherever the second derivative is greater than 0. Performing the algebra again on this inequality is going to give us x less than 1. If we take a look back at this graph, the area in red would be concave up. An inflection point is a point on the graph where the concavity changes. In the example we just completed, the inflection point would have occurred at x equals 1. Let's take a look at the definition of a critical point. A critical point is a point in the domain where the derivative is either equal to 0 or is undefined. Critical points often, but not always, occur at turning points on the graph. Let's take a look at these three gra graphs below here, and let's notice the critical points on each one of the graphs. In the first graph, it has two critical points, and they both occur at places where the derivative is 0. The second graph has a critical point where the derivative is undefined, the third graph has two critical points, both occurring where the derivative is 0, but only one of those critical points is an actual turning point on the graph. Let's use an example that finds critical points. Consider the function f of x equals negative x cubed plus 3x squared that is shown graphed below. The derivative for this graph would be negative 3x squared plus 6x. We need to find all the places where the derivative equals 0 or is undefined. Since the derivative is a polynomial, it is never undefined. We'll set f prime of x equal to 0, and we'll solve negative 3x squared plus 6x equals 0. We get two answers for x. They are x equals 0, which is one critical point on the graph, 
and we also get x equals 2, which is the other critical point on this graph. Let's look at a second example to find the critical points. Consider the function f of x equals the cubed root of x squared. This would be rewritten as x to the 2 thirds power. We're now going to find the derivative of this expression and we're going to get 2 thirds times x to the negative 1 third power, which is rewritten 2 divided by 3 cube roots of x. We now need to find all the places where the derivative equals 0 or is undefined. Well, this derivative is never going to equal 0 because it's a fraction, and when you have a fraction, if the numerator does not contain a variable, it cannot equal 0. But there is a place where this function is undefined. It's at 0, and you can see the critical point shown on the graph.